Hi, it's John Zweifler. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for the Rural Health Clinics talking to you about our innovations grant that would support uh, diabetes education. And why are we concerned about diabetes? Well, uh, diabetes is arguably the number one uh, medical condition facing our country. Uh, uh, hypertension also affects 5 to 10 percent of our population, but I don't think they have quite as good marketing department as diabetes. So I think diabetes is widely recognized as our most important uh, uh, health care uh, condition. So what we want to do is tackle the sickest of the sick. We want to look at those, the highest risk group in our high risk population of diabetics and focus on those patients who have a hemoglobin A1C over 9. Uh, what is our solution? Our solution is to develop a team-based approach to diabetes care. Uh, and our uh, intervention is that we, uh, we want to supply what every team needs, which is a coach. And uh, we're going to have a coach who's going to be a, uh, a nurse, an RN, uh, who will uh, coordinate the rest of the team. We've got a great team already in place. We have diabetes educators uh, uh, that are part of the Adventist Health Community Care Network. Uh, we also have our uh, physicians and our nursing staff. But, uh, but we need someone to coordinate their activities, and that's going to be our diabetes educator uh, coach. Uh, uh, the, specifically, what our plan is, is that our, uh, uh, the diabetes uh, educator coordinator will uh, work with our IT folks and our, CM, our EMR uh, Cerner partners uh, to get a, 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 a list of all our diabetics, so we'll be doing population management. Uh, there are thousands of uh, diabetics in our, uh, uh, in our population, uh, uh, over 10,000 uh, that are cared for by Adventist Health Community Care. Of those, there's over 1,000 of them with hemoglobin A1Cs over 9, so it's a huge problem, and that's the population we're going to be focusing on. Uh, uh, our, uh, the diabetes coordinator will determine what type of preventive interventions they need, so for example, if they haven't seen a uh, an opt optometrist or ophthalmologist for retinopathy screening will be arranging uh, for that. Uh, if they uh, haven't seen their phys physician for some period of time, we'll arrange for them to see that. Uh, but the other big part of the intervention is working closely with our diabetes educators. So our, uh, the coordinator will be identifying those, uh, all of our uh, uh, patients in our hemoglobin A1C greater than 9 uh, population. Uh, we will be, over a period of a year, sending all of those patients uh, names to our diabetes educators. We have four of them, uh, so we'll expect them to be contacting about 20 patients a month each. The focus in the past for our diabetes educators has been on face-to-face uh, uh, -face visits. We'll continue to encourage that, but uh, because we really want to increase access, we're also going to be starting with phone, with phone visits. So we're going to have more of an emphasis on, on telephone contacts uh, and to, uh, to speak to them about their diabetes and about diabetes control. Uh, we will certainly encourage them to be seen face-to-face, uh, -face, but, uh, but, the, but what's, uh, what we do want to emphasize uh, access and, and uh, telephone contact. For those who we can't get in touch with, we'll be sending letters, and it's not just to make an appointment. We want to send them uh, critical information about their diabetes and what they can do to better manage it. And for all of these reasons, I uh, encourage you to support our Diabetes uh, Education Innovation Grant. Thank you very much.